Good morning, or is it still morning? Yep. Good morning, everyone. There we go. Get this all loaded. Apparently, I need to go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, I'm trying to fix my... Yeah, it's putting things like Battle Royale as part of my tags, and I'm like, whoops, no, I have to sleep all the way through the night. Why am I not sleeping through the night? There we go. That took a long time. That was kind of weird. Nothing in those. I never... What the... I don't remember that being there, but... Tackback was in here. I did have him in here to help out with a few things, and we ran with that. He has been causing all kinds of trouble. And so if anything's wrong, I'll blame him. Sound good? I think that sounds awesome. So I do want to show you some of the things that I have done. Which is absolutely nothing in that direction. Um, I am preparing to build a nice upper tier. So what I have done is we took out all the sheep stuff. So it's gone. The chickens are gone. All the houses that were up here are gone. The pathway that used to go up the stairs there is gone. The garden that is there is gone. All of the gardens here are gone. Um, I'm thinking of actually filling in all the way across here too so it's straight out. Give us a better um, level up here. So yeah, to be able to go up there now, it's different. Also, the stairs that were over here are gone. So the path that came along here, it's gone. You can see it's slowly filling itself back in. I filled in, took out the stairs that were here. They're gone. So the only way up and in this part of the village is over here. I am keeping this building. And that building. These ones I'm a little indecisive on because I am not very happy with them. Um, this I don't think was actually built correctly. Oh, I'm out of torches as well. And this is being pushed way back because we have to make a new wall. When the pillagers come, I want to have a three thick wall for them to have to get through. So to do that, and then I want to have a border as well. Like a, like a ooh. Uh, I don't know why auto mod. Let me pause that. I don't know why it nailed that. That was weird. But hello, welcome, welcome. Yes, I had a meeting this morning. Um, it didn't like the term get to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I do know the word put is also not allowed. And we had to fix that. But yes, the it is at the beginning. Yay. But I do need to move this. This fence is actually going to move. I haven't figured out how to do it yet because I haven't cleared out the forest to go with it. But the sheep are over here now. I don't know how pleased they are. I'm not sure how pleased I am with them being over here yet. But this is where they are. So they're all in here. So this wall has to go straight out across there, which I haven't done. Um, how do you get to the point where you... Right now, I am happy with it because it's catching a lot of stuff that I don't want you guys on there. Like, it's a PG channel. So, even though it catches a lot of stuff that seems silly, um, it catches a lot of stuff that is not silly. So, it really... There are a lot of trolls out there who want to write all kinds of things in there. Yeah, my Minecraft stream is probably the only one that I actually ban people from. That's about it. And they're quite awful. Yep. And the trolls are getting cleverer and cleverer. They're, they're really trying to get names and stuff like that. I'm like, why would you bother changing your name to something that's inappropriate that's going to get you banned? In Canada, to be able to get your account, that's $30. You've thrown away $30 so that you can have an inappropriate name. Oh, that's a creeper. Let's travel. 
Yeah, this area is a little more difficult to work in because there are so many trees and everything here and it's so dense and there's a lot of caving and weird stuff that I kind of have to, to deal with. But yeah. But yeah, put apparently, it, it's not in English that it's a problem. It's in another language that's a problem. And that's why it gets, it got caught. So we just put it in the filter that, yeah, we're allowed to say the word put. Now, if somebody, because we looked it up as well to make sure that, you know, is this being silly or is this something that re somebody reported? You know, trolls can add things that they don't want and they're very creative out there. Um, but it is genuinely a bad word in another language. So if somebody says, oh, I'm from this place and then they use it, then that's also where I'll get them banned because I know that word is not supposed to be used. And now I know what it means. And yeah, I really don't want to know. But I have to get a good chunk of that forest cleared like you can see how dense it is and how many of the big trees, like this one, this has got to go. But I hate taking them down. All of this needs to be leveled correctly. All of this needs to move way across there. Yeah. But. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of work to be done. I kind of want to make this square in the end. Because to make the wall I want to make, it's really hard to do the diagonal on it. Like, really hard. It's three wide. I think it's just three wide. It might be more than three wide. And it's just really tough to do. Um, I did bring Henrietta over here. And I gave her some friends. So there's four of them. There were only three originally. And I, I brought another chicken over. Oh, you have another egg. Thank you. And so we're collecting eggs. All right. Not a problem. I'll be here. I heard that. You guys just popped out another egg. Who did? You did. Thank you. There we go. Put that one away. I wonder if I should gather some of the other chickens out here. So yeah, today's not going to be a horribly interesting day because it's going to be a short day. Definitely a short day. Also wouldn't mind changing this from being such a weird zigzaggy field into something a little straighter. But I think I have to come all the way over here. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna make it straighter. I'll have to make it shorter. Like I won't be able to come all the way out to the path because, oh, I don't have a, uh, I don't have anything for that. I gotta fix that. See, if I go across here, that doesn't work either. And I can't really push this out any further because I run into path. Well, hmm. let's go get an ax, a shovel, and some dirt, and some torches, and see what we can do. Yeah. I just realized I haven't sent out my tweet. Tweet. There we go. And it was sent. Okay. So axe, shovel, dirt, torches, fences. Yeah. So let's go get our shovel. Hello, shovel. Hello, axe. And in here, we will put you. Back over here. I wouldn't mind putting all my storage rooms kind of together. But that's one of those don't do it on the stream type of things. Because I don't know how much you guys would enjoy me moving everything over one by one. It's probably something I would prefer to do while I'm like, watching Netflix. <laughs> like a lot of this I did watching Netflix or watching um talkback stream 
or if he's streaming to me while he's doing programming, which I can assure you guys is, I can't say the most interesting thing in the world, but um, I'm happy to say that I can be useful in it, which makes me happy. Makes me very happy to know that I can be useful. Okay, so we have torches, fences, shovel there. Oh, we need the dirt. This is the only drawback of not having the stairs there anymore is there's no way to get kind of over here in a hurry. But up there has to be rearranged in some way because I'm, I'm really not happy with it. When I built it, I was kind of happy with it, but I was a little iffy. And now that I have more space, I feel like I need to spread out more. And I want to add things like more trees and more, you know, greenery type stuff. I think that would be... Yeah, I have this big space. Oh, this big space in here actually does have a purpose. Um, the bunny hutch is going in there. I don't know if I've made the bunny sign yet, but I do have a bunny sign. I still have a bunny sign design. Okay, so if we fill in here, the question is how bad is it? Like that can come up here, but it's gonna be right on the edge. I don't think I can go any further than here. I think it gets too close to the other one. So that'll keep that open. And then, can I have that? Thank you. This will come across here. So we still have a lot of the fence left, which is what we're looking for. And again, we're trying to make it square. Uh, yeah, I need to hop up on that. So we're gonna lose a couple off of here. Um, guy can, oh, we're losing a couple off of here, but we're losing a lot off of there. Hmm. You guys gonna be okay with this? Can you move? Move. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to ride you. I'm trying to get you out of the way. Their field is getting significantly smaller. Yeah, you too. You need to be on that side. Go on. Go on. And the thing is, I can't even ride them all because I need some of them to still be wild. No, you cannot come back this way. You, move that way. Stop encouraging them. Keep going. Ah, oh, really, guys? I just closed off this area. This is not okay. All right, let's let's fight the battles we can fight. Cow is going on his own. How about you? Will you move? Go on. Um, where does this go? How far over? No, 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 no. Don't go this way. Go that way. Go on. No, 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 no. Stay on the other side. I'm coming back with leads, and then you're not going to have any choices here. No. Wrong way. All right, fine. We're going to do this with leads. All right. Both of you, if you could be on this side for a moment, that would be awesome. And you too. You could go that way a little. Just a little more. There we go. All right, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be all having a temper tantrum on me. That is very, very rude. I'm gonna go get the leads now. Then you'll be sorry. Okay, let's go get our leads. This building looks a little weird kind of standing out on its own, but it will be better once I have the bunnies. Let's grab some leads. I don't have as many leads as I used to. I think we can only do four at a time, so we'll go with four. And I might detach it from the barn, but I don't know. 
I just don't want them wandering into the barn. That would not be okay. All right. Horse. Pig that was not cooperating. Other horse. And other horse. Let's go. Let's travel. Come on. All right. One. Two. Three. Oh, three. Oh, we reattached to somebody. And four. You guys are out. Enjoy. And you. And you. And you. Come over here. One, two, three. Got them all. And while I'm here, let's close off that part. Hi, I'm glad you guys are all walking over here because we're all leaving. He's leaving on his own, so that works for me. Guys, come down here. Look, a beautiful pond. One, two, three. Did I not have four? Did I lose one? Apparently I lost one somewhere. Oh, he went through on his own anyways. Yeah, you. Come here, you. And, no, I'm sorry. I thought I had the horse, but I had the chicken. Keep moving. Move, guys. I got guys coming through here. It's a little weird to have chicken on a lead. But it's the best way to do it. No, 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 no. Fine, then you will stay out here. You're all set up. Awesome. Uh, I am running low on black dye, so... Oh well. Okay, so we'll take these out. And that gives them a square field rather than the zigzaggy one. Which should look a little better. Hopefully. Do we pick up everything as we go? Yes. Okay. I just had to think for a second there about the, um, my sheep. Because my sheep are not as protected as they were last time. But I think they should be okay because the wolves, they were near where the wolves were. But they weren't quite where the wolves were. Um, and we push this out here so that we could take out this sort of zigzag portion. go. So I gave you more room here, but I took away room there. That's livable. And as much as I like that banner showing the house or the sailboat, it looks totally like a zombie. And scares me a lot of the times. So I look up, I'm like, there's a zombie out here. Oh no. Okay. Can't put that one there. We'll put it there. Guys, do you mind if I hop on through here? That's close enough. That's close enough. That's close enough. Do we really have a lot of... Oh, and it zigzags here. Mm. How much further can I push this out and push that in? This is one, two, three. I probably can only move it one. That's probably the best I can do, is move it over one more. But then they're going to lose three more spots here. Hmm. The question then becomes, would it be better to just push 
this whole wall down to say about here. And then pull this out further again. So it becomes sort of a rectangle along the edge of the barn. And then we would push, I guess we'd put this wall back out just a little bit more. It would be here. It would run. And then it wouldn't run, and it would run up here. From about the same sort of spot, like along here. Whoops, that did not quite go as planned. But it wouldn't go all the way back there. I think I kind of like that idea because then I can, if there are more plants, we can grow more garden. And have this be the edge line instead. I think it's along here. Is that enough space? I think I might want three. Move this one more over. Because if we get coarse root and that type of stuff, it needs to kind of move over one. Like if we're going to need room to put those gardens. And there isn't anywhere to put those gardens right now. Get me on the inside of this. I think I've made a decision and I'm going to completely take apart my other fence <laughs> I just put together to be able to do it. Feels kind of silly, but it happens. Yay, it's lunchtime. Any thoughts on the fencing issue? Actually, it doesn't really matter because I kind of made the decision, so I kind of have to go with it. One, two, three. I have to move these far enough away from the edge of there because the horses were jumping up on there and then jumping up on here and then walking over. I'm like, wow, they're smart. Okay, guys, you get to spread out a little more. So I'm going to spread them out this way. I'm going to spread them out the other way. Um, the fencing issue is that, well, it's not really an issue. I'm just kind of making it an issue because I don't know what to do with it. I want the horses to have a square area in which they work. And right now the fence was a whole bunch of zigzags. So I set it up as a rectangle along here. So it was a long one that way, but I decided instead, I'm going to make it a long one along the edge of the barn because I still have room for the rabbit hutch over there and any other animals, they can go in that space. But any other stuff for growing things, I don't have any more space. Like there's no more garden space. So by pushing this fence down a bit, I should be able to create more space. And the thing is I just rearranged some of the land to be able to have it go how I want it. And then I changed my mind to say that I didn't want it that way. <laughs> do I still have the leads on me? I do. Are you leaving the area? You don't know. Okay. And then I'm pushing this out to here as well. Which I just moved in. So... We're going to push this inward. Right? Where does it go to? Up here. So I'm going to lose that whole chunk of field right there. But I'm gaining this bit here and another bit at this other side. And it makes it a rectangle, and it should be okay. They shouldn't be too crowded. It keeps their pond. It keeps their their little hill. They should be fine. I hope. Oops. I'm trying to think of when the villagers and pillagers stuff comes in. 
And so I need to keep in mind what's going on. I also was looking at how I need to do my territory to be able to prevent, you know, bad things from happening. So I've got to look at what I want my boundaries to be. Because that's going to be kind of huge. All right, so this technically goes here. Then you guys need to move. One. Oh, I missed you. One. And two. And three. And four. Let's go out through the hole. I don't know if they will because it's kind of squishy. Oh, they did. All right. One. And two. No, two. Guys, you're causing me issues. I need to pick up all of them. There we go. I see you headed for there. Not gonna happen. No. No. Yeah, I know you want to leave. Just give me a minute. I gotta go get this guy. Come on. And you. I know you were coming out, but I'm going to make you come out a little bit faster. And over here, where there's more space. Do I have any horses that need to be named? We already have three named horses. Why? Do you have a name? You have a name you want to use. And then we take all of this out. You need to have a horse named Mayo. Does it have to be a horse? Oh my gosh. Apparently that does have to be a horse. Uh, how about no? Because that's just really a bad joke. A really, really bad joke. Taking this out. And there's so much work to be done to get to before. Oh, no. No. Uh, my, my axe. I don't have an axe anymore. And here. I don't have them this space together anywhere else but in here. I have to go get another axe. Whoops, that one did not go. And you'll be proud of me. Um, I was asked to take on another job and I said no. <laughs> She's like, you're good with typing. And I'm like, I'm a broadcaster. Uh, so, no, I don't want to do up the minutes for this meeting. <laughs> like, uh, I'll heavily pass on that one. So, yeah. I didn't have to be taking the minutes. Um, on top of that, I didn't have a clue what was going on. I didn't have any of my papers from before. I forgot my phone upstairs. Like... I explained I have computer expertise, but that doesn't have anything to do with being able to actually do minutes. Which, by the way, I have to do right after the stream. <laughs> so I'm doing the minutes for our girl guides thing. But without an agenda, I can't do minutes. And I didn't even have the notes from last year's stuff. So everybody's going, well, last year we did this, and two years ago we did this. I'm like, I joined the committee like one meeting ago. <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I literally have no clue. But I do know that I volunteered last year to go up and pick up the song sheets. Um, our newspaper puts out song sheets that the advertisers pay for. So say you have a store or something in the area, you would, you know, pay to have your ad in these song sheets and then um, volunteer groups come and go get the song sheets for their little Christmas concerts and stuff. 
So I said I would go get them because they're in the city next to where I am. And since I do my girl guides really close to there, honestly, it's no hardship for me. So I'm like, I'll do it. I'll go get them. So I volunteered to do that last year. So this year I reminded them I'm going to go do that. I'll go get them. So they're like, oh, that's wonderful. And I'm thinking, you no. Know, it means I don't have to go do the shopping. It means I don't have to do any of the cooking. It means I don't have to do, like, there's a big long list of I don't have to do's now. All because I'm picking up song sheets. It's like a box. I have to call the woman to say, hey, what time are you open? When can I get them? And then on Wednesday before, like, I'll leave early to go to Girl Guides, I will literally go pick them up. That's my whole plan. I am totally getting away with so much by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> it is awesome. But it is my first year. So I don't want to be taking on some kind of massive job that I don't know anything about. So that and I have so many other things I need to do that I just don't have it in my capacity to do it. Yep. As it was, things like I had to do the stream late today because I had to go to the meeting. And that's based on the fact that everybody who's in it is retired or they do volunteer work is all they do. So it's like, yeah, I like they wanted to go into the storeroom and check and see if they could find all the supplies they had from last year. And I'm like, that sounds great, but I have to go to work right now. I need to get back. I'm supposed to be working. Yep, I had the stream ready to go this morning, and then I realized it didn't feel right. It felt really off, and I was like, why do I feel wrong this morning about getting my stream ready? So I checked my timer, my day timer, and it's just like, oh, I have a meeting. <laughs> I get the exact same time I start the stream. So it's like, okay, I actually have to put on a bra. I actually have to get out of my pajamas. It's like, man. <laughs> but I am dressed in a shirt, t-shirt from Tea Turtle. And it says, today is going to be a good day. And it's a little dinosaur with a whole bunch of uh, uh, asteroids and, and meteors all falling down. And I was like, yep, yeah, that's today. It's going to be totally a good day. So today is a dual stream day as well. So that's exciting for me because I have no idea what we're streaming. Oh, that? was kind of a cheaty hole. It actually has a hole in the hole. I need to fill in some more back here. But I need to figure out where the border of this is going to be. If, are, are we far enough out for the farm to be happy with it? And I'm thinking we're not because this fence goes all the way out there. And since it's supposed to be square, it needs to come through up here. Like, if it's going to be properly square, this is the end border. Well, that end border needs to push back a bit. Like, this to me is the wilds. I have no idea what's back there. I can't say I've ever explored it either. So, if I had Dynamap, which I do not, um, back there would be completely black. Because I have not been back there. I, I literally have no idea what is back there. So, it's a scary place for me. Everything over here is kind of scary. Um, certain areas of the map I know fairly well. Other areas, nope. That side of the map, back there, kind of on this side, I'm good with because that is the way I travel for everything. So I really know the area. I know where the holes are. I know where the caves are. I know that stuff. Here, I don't know where any caves are. I don't know where any of the holes are. I don't know any of that stuff. I just know that it's... It's dangerous. <laughs> it's not a safe place to be. I know I've been blown up several times over here. I know creepers hide out over here. Even with taking out a ton of the trees and pushing them back, I've still had trouble out here. This is just not a nice place. I would like to not take down too much of the hills and things. I would like to incorporate them into my build. But I know that the wall I want to build isn't going to handle that. Like, I, I don't know how to do different elevations of it. 
It is a pattern I've used before, um, and I enjoy it. It is it is beautiful. It uses packed ice and diorite, which I should get some more of. So I might have some time. I don't know when, but at some point in my life, I am going to go and do some mining and get some diorite. This is probably not good for light levels, being that it's in a hole. But oh well. And I'm filling this all in, and then I'm going to have to take it all back out again <laughs> at some point. The hills that I just took out over there, I built those ones. <laughs> so I filled them in. That's where I had the giant holes from creepers. So yeah, because this, this goes down again. And I'm like, what do I do? This I know I hate. This causes me issues when I come running across. I have to hop up and then hop down again. And I don't like doing that. There we go. That's a little better. One of the other things I wanted to do, and I think I'll do that today, is up in the upper platform, it is a free-for-all when it comes to torches. There's no grid up there because the grid fell apart down here when I put the houses in because there's pathways and stuff like that. So the grid just didn't end up getting done. So I want to continue the grid. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Take a look around because there are badness up here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I want to do one on this side of the fence. That's all I do. It gives me a buffer so that I don't have creepers right up against the fence because they spawn further back. Three, four, five. One, two, 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 three, four, five. We're still lined up. Three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you remember how far, look at that fence. That fence is way over there. That's going to be coming all the way across here into this forest. And I'm not quite sure how to do that. We may have to have a massive forest fire and a lot of filling in of holes because there is a serious lot of holes here. Like a serious, serious lot of holes. I'm not sure if I've completely done this one. Maybe. We will see. Yep, this one is empty. So yeah, things like I'm going to have to fill in above. I'm going to have to take the coal out first, of course. And then fill in this hole at least... I would say two deep, maybe three deep, so that I can actually build over here. Or I may have to do it all the way down here and do all of that filled in. But a minimum of two. And then it's all like, look at all of this. There's all these holes. There's all kinds of stuff. We're way over here and we still even have, haven't even hit the end of where the wall has to go. It's going to be all up in here. So it's going to be way back in here somewhere. Good morning. It's still morning, right? Yep. Good morning. It'll be all back in here. There's more dips and doodles and stuff. So I'm probably going to have to go in here and literally clean out all of the trees just so I can see what the actual lay of the land is. And I will replant the trees, but it won't be quite the same as this because this is just a disaster. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Perfect. All right, get me out of here. Do I have any more carpet? I do. Awesome. 
because this needs more carpet. Uh, probably about there. And there. Because I redid some of these fences. This road, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this road because it goes around the tree. I am, was thinking of cutting it off along here so that the road actually comes forward and goes around the tree, but it doesn't go anywhere. So really, this portion doesn't need to exist. How much shovel do I have? I don't have a lot of shovel left because it doesn't go anywhere and neither does that. It goes to a pathway that goes nowhere because <laughs> there's nothing built here yet. So I'm gonna build the roads after like I'm gonna decide what's gonna be built there and then do the roads. It doesn't make sense to do all these roads so far ahead. Like I've taken out the buildings, so it made sense when the buildings were there, but now no, and this is just a drop. What I am looking to do is build a tunnel. There's going to be a tunnel that runs under this whole thing into this area. So I'm gonna do that, because I think that would be cool. See, these guys just hang out in the trees. So the trees have to kind of go. They're, oh, okay, they're scary. Oh, er at you too. This is the fastest way I know of getting rid of the, the roadways. I fill them with dirt and then I take the dirt out. This is a weird road. It literally goes to there. So yeah, it is, I'm not sure if I'm keeping these orange buildings because like these two, because they are so close to this one that you can't really see this one. Um, I'm definitely keeping the little ones down below. And as you can see here as well, I've changed how this is. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with it, but I got it. And out of habit, I am going to put a carpet there so I can remember how to get back downstairs. So yes, the village is going through a serious makeover, mostly because of the village and pillage. Um, I need to make some changes. For protection, I'm building a three wide wall. I think it's three, it might actually be five. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. It was a shovel I came for. Thank you, Carbit, but I do not need you at the moment. And you'll notice the pumpkins and melons are gone. Uh, they have been moved to the other garden. And Takvac was on the other day. We did, I think we did this for date night. We went out and hunted down all the treasure maps and found them all. I'm not sure why there's a chest and buckets of water in here, but there are. Um, that might've been Takvac doing. But these are the treasure places that we found. We do have one new map, which is this one. So we have to go and explore again for that and find some more ships and find the treasures that go with them. Uh, there is one, which one is it? I think it's this one. We have dug up the entire area, like completely dug up the entire area. Like, I don't know if you can dig up any more of that area. We dug up so much of that area and, um, we have not successfully found the treasure. So I'm a little disappointed. And I just realized as well, if we are going to be doing more treasure maps, um, I actually don't like these anymore because I have seen the new lanterns that they have coming out in 1.7 and they are spectacular. So, I need to remove this. And our treasure maps will probably just 
I'll shift kind of everything over for them, but they'll go over. This is part of the I don't have a proper grid. So the idea is, is when I get up here, we're going to take the grid from this side. So over here, and then we're going to spread it across. Um, hi, obviously I haven't. I'm wearing diamond. Oh, the... hey, come back here. He died all on his own. Which bow do I have? Okay. Yeah, things are not lit up properly, as you can tell over here. As in, not at all. So I need to remove this stuff. I've been taking out some rogue trees that I had just left up. Those have been coming out. Um, like that one, it's got to go. This one, it's got to go. There's no actual need for them here right now. Like I put them in there because there was a garden there and there was a space and so I wanted to do it. And so this goes. The question then also is like, this is here. Maybe I should just do a short road here and eliminate pretty much this whole road is unnecessary. Like from the step up, because it doesn't actually go anywhere or do anything. And if we're taking out these two houses, which we are, because I don't like them. I like the color of them and the design and everything. I just don't like how squished they are in here. They need to be a little more spaced. And that's the problem with them. There's just no space here. I'm not quite sure why I wanted them so close together. Like that, I, I don't know what I was thinking about. Not at all. But I am looking forward to the next time that Tackback comes in. Um, I don't know if, he, like tonight we're supposed to be doing our dual stream. I've missed Stardew Valley. I've missed it quite a bit. But I don't know if he would like to run maybe some Minecraft. Because we do have abandoned mine shafts and we do have some some things like that that we can run, which would be entertaining. So I will leave that. We can do MC tonight. Yay! Okay. So we will run the... I don't know if this will make it the whole way through, but we'll try. Uh, there... We can go back out into the ocean and we can go back to that island that I showed you that had the cacti on it. I made a cacti pillar or a cacti wall. And the one where the house is, where we left um, a bed, so we had two beds there. Uh, that is where there's a giant ravine and that ravine has a ton of gold in it and we need gold. Because although we have a beautiful beautiful, beautiful little pyramid there. It has a mostly gold nugget thingy in the middle. It's golden nougat. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to me just essentially doing a lot of prep stuff. Tonight will be more interesting because tonight we'll be doing adventure things. Maybe we can even go and... I'm like planning this out now because I'm all excited. <laughs> Like, we can do this and this and this and this. And it's like, uh, calm yourself. Uh, none of these belong in here, do they? Yes, they do. All right. You go in here. And you go in here. And you go in here. And you go in here. Is that it? That's black wool. Hmm. I think all the rest of this is oh nope we have in here part of our overflow look we used to have like 64 and then some here and now we don't it's kind of exciting and we'll put that in there today is monday tonight is not chains of harrow and we still have too many of these right yes 
They're beginning to curve around. Yeah, I don't have any emoticons as of yet. I am working on that. Um, I am seeking an artist. Um, I do have one in mind, but I just haven't actually made the effort, which is needed to get him to do the art. Yeah, you kind of need to ask the artist to do the art before they actually start doing art. So I'm a little, I'm nervous about it. Like I, I want to do it, but it makes everything so very, very real. And I need to find someone who is willing to give up the commercial rights. And that's not so easy either. People don't like giving up their rights to their art. And I need them to, or else I can't really like, you know, make merchandise if I don't have the rights. So I'm working on that. I do have somebody who said they would do it and they would give up their commercial rights, which I thought was exciting. But I don't know if their art is appropriate to the channel. And that's the other problem I have. So I did find somebody I like. I did see find somebody who is PG. I do have another person that has said that they will do art, but you just have to PM them, but I've never seen any of their works. So I don't know what they do. And I am looking at the full package. I want the art, I want like everything. They have to do the themes. I have a secret project I'm working on, which I won't say anything because it's supposed to come out in the new year. Um, that needs to be done. Like, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be paying for, and I kind of want to make sure I'm getting what I pay for. So that's kind of hard. It's been weird. I've been looking for a while because once I have that art, I can do my business cards. I can do a lot of stuff. I'm wondering if you can have a merch store just so you can buy your own stuff. <laughs> like, can I do that? Like, I don't necessarily want a store to sell things from, but I want to have things made without having to actually have them custom made. Which sounds weird, but I mean, it is kind of custom made, but yeah. You have a merch store to buy your own stuff? Okay, then I will do that. That's what I want to do. I want it to be able to buy my own stuff. Why can't you also be an artist on top of everything else? I mean, you have all this technical skill. Why can't you also draw? I am highly disappointed in you. You know that? You should also be able to draw and design things and create everything and do all the stuff that I could possibly want. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? I think I'm being perfectly reasonable. <laughs> um, it's only going to be $12? Awesome! I'll take one too. Oh, wait, but it's only black and white. How much will it be to do my polar bear? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah! All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Eh. Well, that's going to be terrible because this is going to be a dark corner. One, two, three, four, five. This is one of the reasons I also want to do the grid because... I did it down there and it worked out really well, but you can only be technically competent. No! One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. You go. And you go. I'm like, I should take this brick out and put it in there. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And it's right here. Wow. One, two, three, four, and it's right there. Yeah. 
This is why I have issues because technically neither of these torches should be here. But then what do we do? We have dark spots. Hmm. Well, you know, I could just pick up the house and move it over a couple of spaces, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is terrible. We're going to put those there. They're not really going to help because this isn't going to be proper either. And this is where it all falls apart. The, the grid. One, two, three, four, five, right here. One, two, three, four, five here. Two, three, four, five in here. One, two, three, four, five is there. One, two, three, four, five is there. So that one goes, that one goes, that one goes. Um, one, two, three, four, and five is down in the hole. <laughs> That's five. Yeah, I'm going to die a horrible death on here because nothing's going to be lit properly. I know my grid theory is a good one. Just not practical. Like, it's really not. Okay, so this area obviously can't be grid. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to leave it as is. What I'm going to do though, is I can grid the new area. Hello, zombie. How are you today? You are very glowy. <laughs> And he dropped two, which is awesome. And down we go. All right, so. And I just realized a mistake. Um, okay, it's one, two, three, four. It is five, like when we go down below, but where is that one? <laughs> like, there. So this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have the beginning of our parts put together. Um, I need to put my fence back up. So there are things I can do. I can push this hall wall out this way so that that line is up there and then bring it down so that the next line isn't so bad. One, two, three, four, five, you're wrong. One, two, three, four, five, although I think I messed that one up. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't the number of colors matter? One, two, three, four, five, all right. I hear you, zombie, but I'm a little busy. I gotta count. I have a very large field of very random torches. This looks so weird. And a creeper. 